Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are making our way over to the Deku Forest because last episode we got all of the memories. We have found out that of course, Princess Zelda is the light dragon we have been seeing flying around throughout Hyrule. So there's a lot to do. And if we take a look at our adventure log, we have to do the Trail of the Master Sword, where even the sages of old could not defeat the Demon King. The sword that seals the darkness, the Master Sword wounded him. According to Mineru, Princess Zelda said to speak to the Deku Tree about the Master Sword. You learn that the Deku Tree is in Korok Forest. So hopefully they'll give us some details on where we can find the dragon because it sort of just flew off and I didn't really get around to finding it. So we're gonna try to um, just go for it and see what ends up happening. So I guess we'll get over there as close as we can for now which my closest shrine is gonna be right here. So we'll start at the Echo Chewy or Echo Chew Shrine, <laughs> however you pronounce it, and make our way in to the Great Hyrule Forest. Okay, so it seems like we are closing in on the entrance of the forest. We sort of cross this little path across the water. So I'll be just getting up there and sort of seeing what we can do. I don't know how much of a challenge it'll be to get to the Great Deku Tree. It was a pretty tricky puzzle in Breath of the Wild. So. Can only imagine something similar will be happening this time. Whoa, quite the outpost over here, we'll have to keep in mind. I think we might have fought these guys in the past a little bit, hard to say. And then of course there's a giant chasm over here, which I don't think we've discovered. Discovery, Minchi Woods Chasm. And you can see there's a little Korok here. Have we rescued you before? Uh, I hope everyone's okay. Hey you, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I went for a walk and now I can't get back to Korok Forest. And my friends I was walking with jumped into this weird hole. They said we might be able to go back to the forest through the hole, but do you think it's safe? Huh. I might have to hop into that chasm though. Interesting. I don't know about that. I feel like I should just try to approach the Korok Forest normally and see what ends up happening. If not, I guess we could try entering through the chasm. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Um, I guess I'll just try to knock this tree over. Uh oh, not good, very scary. I need something that'll slice a little bit more. Maybe I'll just use this rusty broadsword that we have here. All right, come on, timber, timber, wait, almost, almost. Ah, it broke, okay, not good, <laughs> really not good. There's frogs running around too. What if I just tossed over some fire? Here, by uh, most use fire fruit ready. Whoop. Gotcha, pretty good. <laughs> They're jumping around. That seems like it worked pretty nicely. Um, I just don't know if I'll actually get too much out of it, but pretty crazy. There we go. They're dealt with. I'll take the, uh, yeah, the the sturdy thick stick. That's always useful to have. Okay, now that I've grabbed all that, I think we can head out of here, get a couple more of these acorns and tree nuts and stuff, and just try to make our way towards the forest with hopefully no more trees attacking us. I wonder if uh, Addison is around here. Hmm. So far it's just starting to rain. We're definitely getting closer to the entrance. Just gotta keep moving. Whoa. And as you can see, it's pretty dark in here. It is super easy to get lost and I don't quite remember, but there's somebody up here. We have made it to the Lost Woods in Great Hyrule Forest. Oh, hi. So bad, real bad. The Lost Woods just aren't right anymore. No matter which way I enter, the fog comes and gets me and then I'm right back at the beginning. Yeah. I can't return to Quark Forest like this. I wanna go home. I did hear that a big hole opened in Min Minchi Woods. Kind of scary. So I think that's what we passed before and we'll try to do again, but no matter which way I enter the Lost Woods, the fog comes and gets me and then I'm right back at the beginning. It's covering the entire woods, so there's no way to go without the fog getting me. Yeah. I can't return to Quark Forest like this. I wanna go home. I did hear a big hole open up in Minchi Woods. Okay, so I guess we'll do that in a moment. I do wanna try lighting these up and seeing if that does anything, but there's somebody over here. Hi. Ugh. What is with these weird vibes? Oh, are you an adventurer too? You feel the vibes, right? The strange vibes in the air all around here? The vibes? Oh. The vibes, I mean, the fog in the forest up ahead. The forest ahead is the lost woods and it's always been pretty weird. If you got lost, you'd wind up back at the entrance, but now the fog in there has gotten even thicker. Take two steps into the forest and it'll spit you right out. 
not too long ago, you could at least walk into those the, those woods, but now you can't progress at all. Interesting. So as you can see, it just instantly throws you out. That is crazy. So there's not really much way we can enter the Lost Woods the normal way. That is for sure. So why don't we go back then and try to enter through here, the uh, Minchi Woods Chasm. I think that might be our best bet. All right, so we're back at the chasm, and honestly, I'll just hop right in. If they already had a couple of other Crocs down here, I guess it's just our best bet to jump downwards. Whoa, this is spooky. This is so spooky. Uh, all right, keep going, keep going. A little bit more. I don't wanna fall all the way down to my doom, so I'm trying to be very careful here. And this is Minchi Grove of Great Hyrule Forest Depths. And there's a Croc right there. Hi, buddy. How are you? Oh, say, are you also looking for a path that leads to Korok Forest? To Korok Forest? We Koroks were unable to return to Korok Forest, and we found a weird hole, so we climbed into it. Anyway, Korok Forest is in that direction. The other Koroks went that way. Huh. Okay. This place does feel a lot different than the other depths we've been into, and I don't think we've really but in this region specifically, yeah. So, I guess for now, I may I'll set up some lights and stuff so that we can get a little bit more of a view. But it's always pretty intense. I guess I'll just toss the other one way over there. Got it, okay, so, yeah, let's try heading over. Hi there, little Korok. Can I talk to you? My friend, friends and I got here by climbing through the weird hole, but it's kinda scary here. It's so dark and there's creepy spots on the ground. Maybe this was a bad idea. Well, it seems like you guys could fly back up. I would suggest it, because it can be pretty dangerous in these depths. But uh, we'll definitely get some more of this Poe. Got it. I definitely need to toss some more lights around. There's a tree in the way. Okay. I'll grab this. All these muddle buds. I'm just trying to follow this main path for now. I think that's the best idea, because we can sort of keep it you know, track of it here, the Trail of the Master Sword. We're sorta of supposed to go this way. I think maybe this is the good idea, but I don't know. And then that, that's the temple that we've taken on before. Okay, good to know. So we've technically been in this part of the depths previously. It's not like a new section. Okay, I'll toss another one of these. We'll definitely grab all of these as much as I can. We almost have 300 again, which is nice. There's another little Korok to talk to. That's the Lost Fog. That's the Lost Fog. Yeah, way up there, whoa. There, there, the fog up in the ceiling. You see it? That's definitely the Lost Fog that hides Korok Forest. I just know the forest is up above the fog. I just know it. All right, I guess we'll have to go deal with that then. Um. So still sort of heading the right way. There's definitely more time I need to spend in the depths because it just feels so scary and mysterious all the time. I do see a little bug over here I'd like to grab, but it runs away a little too fast. Hmm, ooh, what's that down there? It looks like I could build something if I needed to. I might save it for the time being. I wanna explore this forest a little bit and definitely activate that light route. But I might have to fly up where this tree has a mouth. Uh. Oh, spooky. Can I go up through it? I can. Whoa, and there's a big Poe on top of it. Cool, I'll take that. Gives us five more. That was a large Poe. Very nice to have that. Looks like I need to use the trees here to get past all of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, go back up. And then once again, oh, there's another little Korok over here too, so I'll definitely talk to you. Hi. My friends went on ahead. I have to go too. If you keep heading straight, you'll arrive directly below Korok Forest. I just hope we can find a way to return to Korok Forest from there. Okay, so I'll definitely do that. Oh no, oh no, I keep falling down this way. Not what I mean to do, but luckily I can get back up without too much of an issue. All right. I'm just going to hope you hope we get the Korok Grove. Whoa. Intense. Maybe I should try getting to the light route too. Might be a better idea. Oh no, I thought I could make it. Ah, uh, gross. Okay, I don't lose anything, at least for now. That's good. 
And we are still pretty far off from that area. So I'll just keep moving. Yeah, I definitely wanna get that light route, just to give us a little bit more vision. Oh, there's these guys again. Oh no, I missed them. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, not too bad. I think that was all of them, but I'll definitely pick up whatever they drop. Got some more bright plume seeds. I can definitely make the most of those. And yeah. speaking of which, we'll toss another. Okay, I don't wanna get too sidetracked. I'm sure there'll be plenty of stuff to find no matter which direction I run off in, so might as well go towards the light route without making progress with that too. So that was right over here. This tree is so creepy. Ooh, I do not like it. But I'll run over here really quickly and at the least climb on top of it. I'm afraid it's gonna eat me up if I just stand inside of it. All right, here we go. And there. Okay, ooh, yeah, let's try this one. I do see that bomb flower I wanna grab too. So I'm just trying to make the most of all that. Getting a little bit closer to both of them. And of course the light roots are nice because they also work as like a nice teleport spot. So it's sort of a little bit of everything in that way. Okay, heading over here. I don't know if it's actually gonna be easier to get up it from like down below or if we should climb up at some point, but it's time to throw another. There we go. Okay, we're getting a lot closer. So let me grab all of these. What is that? I think it's just some kind of light. Okay. Uh, yeah, back over here. I just wanna activate this one super duper fast so that it's out of the way. So I will just climb up. And we made it. So which light route is this? This is the Ekinu Pup light route, or the Ekinu Pup? Something like that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and activate this one. First light route we found in a while, so definitely need to discover more of them soon. Whoa, and you can still see that fog above us. But this should make it a whole lot easier to sort of see what's going on in this general area. And that is something I definitely appreciate. All right, there we go. And I think that might give us a little health refill or at least cleanse our hearts if any of them are corrupted. But look at this, a little bit more cleared out. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. That's great to see. See, so yeah, no heal from it, but that's okay. So yeah, I think we're headed, was it that way? Or was it? I'm a little turned around at the moment, so I'm just trying to see. I think it was that one. Yeah, okay, so I'm trying to get over there. I think we can just walk all along this little path over this way. Might be able to get some good stuff out of it. At least a couple more of the Poe. Gotcha. Yeah, we're almost up to 400 now, which is really good. Just make sure we're also avoiding the gloom wherever possible. Yeah, I can just jump over that, sort of. Yep, okay, that worked, that worked. Time for another. Uh, one of these. Gotcha, we are super duper close to getting over here. So I'm just trying to do my best to avoid the stuff. And then I guess we'll probably just ascend through that and maybe end up in Korok Forest. That'd be perfect if that's the case. Grabbing some of this too. And, oh, there's another light route. I was not expecting that. Yeah, there's Koroks all over the place here too, so. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah. I can't figure this out. I made it this far, but it seems like there's no way up from here. If you could jump jump super high, straight up, you'd be in Korok Forest, but then there's the ceiling. It seems impossible. Well, maybe we can help with that, but first, the Rico Nasum Light Route is definitely the next one I wanna claim. I did not expect to see one so close, so it was a pleasant surprise, but even more of the, uh, the chasm cleaned out, you know, sort of, Lit up a little bit more. That's always good. Because eventually, just like we did with the ground where we got all of the towers and cleared out the map, I want to do the same thing with the depths as well, which will take, I feel like, even more work just because they don't clear up as much and they're harder to spot sometimes just with how dark it is down here. But there we go. That cleared up, I feel like, an even larger spot than the other light route did, so that's good. 
Very cool. Okay, so I'll just turn right back around. Grab a couple more Poe wherever I can find it. Which right here seems to be the case. And then if there's any other Koroks to talk to like this one, I'll definitely wanna chat with them before we just try to ascend through. Wow, do you think these are some sort of great Deku Tree's roots? Whoa, maybe. That would mean Korok Forest is directly above us, but how do we get up there? Maybe the great Deku Tree could suck me straight through, through his roots. Is that silly? <laughs> Seems a little silly. So are there any other Koroks to chat with? I don't see any more. Guess we could have ran up through here too. All right, we did a pretty good job clearing this out. Let's go ahead and try to ascend through and maybe make our way in to Korok Forest. That would be great, I sure hope so. All right. I mean, maybe we'll end up somewhere else. Maybe the Koroks are uh, not good navigators. I guess we'll see soon enough. We just gotta keep swimming in. Whoa. Okay, we did it. This seems about right. We've made it to Korok Forest. Oh man. I didn't really know if we could get it done, but. Oh, is the tree talking to us? Oh, there you are. Whoa. Not looking so good. The Deku Tree, great spirit of Korok Forest. All right, well, we'll go say hello in just a moment. Hi. Oh no, they're not doing so good. They don't even wanna to talk to us. Uh, None of them seem very chatty. Not even you? I remember you, you were so happy. What is going on? This is really spooky. Just not a single one has a word to say to us. Oh no. What is with like the, the gloom inside of here? Whoa, do we have to just go deeper? I, I guess so. Maybe I should go and activate that shrine first. Just in case something happens, we can come back here. So yeah, let's uh head back out really fast. And maybe I could just run up and talk to you. I just wanna make sure we do whatever we can up here before we go even deeper down. Hi. Are you up for conversation? It really doesn't seem like it. But maybe from here? I talk. Mm. Mm. My stomach is not well. Poor Deku Tree really doesn't seem to be feeling well. So we'll definitely have to help them. But before we do, let's stop at the Musa no Kira Shrine, something like that, here in the Great Hyrule Forest. Hopefully we can get this done and then we can keep on helping out the Deku Tree. So what do we have to swing at? It looks like something's going on down this way. Okay, we do have a ball right over there. So I guess our first goal would be to get that ball through. I mean, you'd think I would just, oh, I see. I actually cannot lift this, it's too heavy. Can I lift this part? Yes, interesting that I can lift that, but. Oh no, no now, now it's letting me lift it. Okay, see, let me just try to attach that there. Maybe this is just to help me get through? Is that the idea? It might just be. There we go, I got through. Game seems to be pretty happy about that one. But then over here, I could definitely do something. I'm guessing with this one, it's just sort of a little bit of uh, pulling it back as much as I can, and then let it hit it. Ooh, not quite. But if I were to maybe attach this, that might be the trick. This feels a little bit better, right? I think so. Let's see, I pull that all the way back, let it swing. Boom, that hits the bullseye. Very cool. All right, well, there's that figured out. And it looks like our treasure chest is waiting for us right over here. You would think I would just be able to reach it, but it's not the kind of treasure chest you can pick up. So, instead, what do we wanna do here? I mean, I would think when it comes to just getting up there, right? I would just do this. I would climb up the top of it, run over, and boom. All right, what do we get inside of this treasure chest? It is a large Zonite charge. Very cool. So I guess I'll just try to get set up here as much as I can. I don't really know what we're doing for this whole situation. It looks like I'm just supposed to Hmm. Because I can push this along. But. Huh. 
That dangles out down there. Very odd, very odd. I'm trying to think about what's the best way to go about this. I feel like the idea that I'm getting is if I were to do something like that and then maybe like this, attach it to the end like this, and then really just get this to swing. Maybe that would carry the momentum forward. Sort of, whoa! There it goes! That was so neat! All right, we solved it. I just sort of saw the way it was swinging before when we moved the pack and thought that would be worth trying, and it looks like that was the answer we were looking for. Not too bad. So we've made a pack out here to the Korok Forest. It'll just be nice to have that completed. So let's focus on the emergency in front of us, the Korok Forest in shambles. The poor Deku tree with a tummy ache. We gotta be able to help them out. I guess I could maybe make a little fire here at some point. I think I'll leave that and we'll just sort of see what we're supposed to do down this way. Discovery, we have found the Deku tree chasm. Whoa. So how deep will this go? I'm a little scared to find out. Ooh, it's becoming very green. But we're back in the Korok Grove. Okay. Interesting. There's, ah, okay, not much down here. I was gonna say, uh-oh. Oh yeah, that would give anybody a tummy ache. Not these guys again. Okay, I was able to beat up some of them. Here, give me the water, and then quickly go, go, go. Let's activate this. Okay, here's my chance, here's my chance. I'm just gonna, boom, hit some of you guys like that. I have um this out. Okay, that's not what I need though. I need to switch over to the spear. Oh no, they might try to grab me soon. They grab me, they grab me. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh here, just swing at that thing, get rid of it. There's, of course, a couple more. You <laughs> grab my, my robot. I tried to jump out of the way of that one. This is crazy right now. Okay, um, help out with this. There we go. So we have one more tentacle to defeat here. Once we need that more pop up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, come on. Was that it? I think so, which of course means Phantom Gun is gonna pop up somewhere. But where exactly it sounds like back over that way. Okay, very scary. Gotcha. And what bow am I using right now? It's not a bad one, but I need to switch to something a little bit more powerful. I wouldn't mind the Savage Lionel though. Oh, the triple shot there was actually really good. All right, I'm just gonna keep doing that because it's working out so well. Wait, wait, oh, okay. Come on, go, 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 go. Got it. And then, uh, that was pretty good. Oh, okay, I don't even know what hit them there. I think my friends did. Very cool. Come on, keep it going. Oh, I tried this jump, but I jumped a little too late. That's okay. A couple more hits and Phantom Ganon is defeated. Oh my goodness, that was intense. All right. So what happens now with that gloom? It'll fade away. That's great. So hopefully with this, the Deku tree will feel a whole lot better. No wonder the uh, the Korok Forest has been struggling so much. Oh, and here they come. Hi, guys. You did it. Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. The Great Deku Tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest. Well, that's great. And what more can we do? Was that, was that gonna update the quest at all? I guess not. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's much more to do in here. These things sort of light up the area. So, okay, we got the uh, the stuff for defeating that that one enemy. But uh, I think for the most part, I don't really need the rusty broadsword. So I'll go ahead and toss that one, pick up this gloom sword, and I guess just sort of find a way to head out. It looks like I probably just want to go up through these mushrooms or something. There we go. I mean, of course, I could also just use the, the shrine teleport, but I just want to make sure that there isn't anything else to grab around here on top of these little mushroom pieces or something. So far, it doesn't seem like it. Oh yeah, and then I just go under here and up we go. That seems like what I was supposed to do. Here's open. Okay, we made it to the top. Hi. Since the Lost Woods returned to normal, I was able to make it back. Croc Forest is so peaceful, huh? By the way, have you seen a croc named Oki? 
Oh, you don't even know who Oki is, huh? Hmm, I wonder where he went. Maybe he's hiding in the Great Dicky Tree's mouth. If you wanna know where his mouth is, it's right above the spore store. Okay, I'll have to look around for that later. And speaking of which, the spore store is open. The general shop. Well, look who we have here. Hello, Mr. Hero, and welcome to the general shop. Please buy whatever you want. Or do you want to sell me something? Um, what do you sell? I've got some wares that would be useful for someone like you, Mr. Hero. If you use a bright bloom seed in a dark place, it'll light up, light up an area. I bet you'd find that handy, huh? I definitely do. Okay, so what do we have here? An apple, a couple of the things I don't really need too many of, but good to know. And how about you? Hi. Yeah. Welcome to the spore store. My shrooms are delicious, suspicious, but never malicious. Look around, buy something, or do you want to sell something? What is this place? Yeah. We're inside the Great Deku Tree's navel, and this is my shop. I just had to relocate recently. You see, this big hole opened right up where the spore store used to be. So I grabbed my stuff and moved my shop. It's a little cramp, but I'm making it work. Cool. See, so definitely a little cramp, but a lot more of these different mushrooms. And then there's you over here, I think this is gonna be an inn. Welcome to the Great Deku Tree's navel. You can sleep serenely here, drinking in the sweet forest air. Take as long as you like with your yawns and your Zs. Uh, how much? Oh, I don't want your rupees. You're the great Mr. Hero. Take as long as you like with your yawns and your Zs. I'd like to sleep. How long would you like to snooze? Until morning. Until I say good morning? Sounds good. Sleep well. All right, well, I'm glad that everybody is being uh, so helpful here, giving us lots of hospitality. We didn't even need to pay any rupees to take a sleep in this bed, so that's great. And there we go. Our health is back. Good morning. You can grab some breakfast next door at the spore store. Come back and catch some Z's soon, okay? Will do. So I'll head out of here for now. I don't really need any of these different um, shop items, but I definitely want to catch up with as many Koroks as we can, like Peaks over here. Good morning. This is the best morning ever to be in, in Korok Forest. I'm so happy I made it back. I think I might just lounge around the forest a while. Chio told me that a monster was in the Great Deku Tree's tummy, making trouble. Everything seems okay now, but maybe I should double check around them to make sure nothing's ba nothing bad's lurking anymore. The Great Deku Tree. Yeah. Oh, you wanna talk to the Great Deku Tree, huh? Just head up this route, and then you can talk to the Great Deku Tree from the stump up there. I definitely will. But in the meantime, I wanna talk to you. Yeah. This is Chia. <sighs> My head's still all fuzzy. Oh, you're, hang on, what are you doing here? Oh, oh yeah, now I remember. It all happened so suddenly. The Great Deku Tree was in agony. An ominous fog came from out of his mouth. And then, a bunch of us Koroks started acting funny. Next thing I knew, monsters showed up and I fought them all myse by myself, knocking them out one by one by one. Um, sorry, I lied. I actually couldn't move and don't even remember what happened. It was all so sudden. I don't, if, I don't know if any of the others remember either. But thanks to you, Mr. Hero, everybody is back to normal. Yay! I'm sure the Great Deku Tree wants to say thank you too. You should go. The Great Deku Tree? As everyone knows, the Great Deku Tree is the spirit of Korok Forest. If you climb up the roof behind me, you can talk with him. You're the one who saved the Great Deku Tree's life, so please go say hello. Oh yeah, also, some of the Koroks could use your help. You should probably talk to the Great Deku Tree first, but then maybe you can help out. Follow the lights in the forest. If you do, you'll come across different Koroks who could use your help. Please go find them and see what they need. Will do. But in the meantime, I think I definitely wanna follow their advice and go talk to the uh, the Great Deku Tree first, right up here. So, hey, you feeling any better? Hmm? Ah, so it is you. I must apologize. I'm still quite groggy, as though I'm awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. It has been some time since we, la we last spoke. Have you been well? Hmm, yes, the last time we spoke. That was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the master sword. Oh, really? So I think this takes place after Breath of the Wild, right? It is good to see you. Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. 
Your blade has been fully restored. Go on, Ben Link. Draw it once more. Whoa. Great Deku Tree. Thank you so much. Ha ha ha. There is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself. No matter how badly damaged it becomes. It can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. A sword that grows ever stronger. The master sword. So who's to say how powerful it has become with all the time it is spent atop the light dragon? But the sword, it would seem that you no longer wield it. Where has it gone? What is this then? You do not know where the master sword is? I see, yet I can sense it, even now. There could be no mistake. Whoa, it's over there? Gotcha, so I think it's still atop the dragon, but the dragon must be that way. It's here. Good to know, whoa, it's moving too, that's crazy. In the sky, I feel the Master Sword's presence strongly in this area, but what could this mean? The Master Sword seems to be moving. You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword, but you must find a way. Surely, the Master Sword is awaiting you, just as you are seeking it. All right, the Trail of the Master Sword complete. How exciting. The sword that seals the darkness of the Master Sword passed into a distant time and into Princess Zelda's hands. You were able to obtain clues about it. And with that, we've started a new quest, Recovering the Hero's Sword, our new main quest objective right over here. The darkness sealing sword, the Master Sword, vanished in the Temple of Time on the Great Sky Island. The Deku Tree can feel the sword's presence and says that the Master Sword is moving. What could that mean? Well, clearly, since we've caught up with the rest of the story, we know exactly what it means. And the Deku, Deku Tree's profile has been added as well. So, the Deku Tree, the great spirit of Korok Forest. A great tree spirit who has stood long vigil over Korok Forest and the sword that seals the darkness. An old friend of Princess Zelda and Link, he gently guided their efforts against the calamity. The Kor to the Koroks living in the forest, he is both a father figure and a home. That is so cool. So, yeah. I want to talk to him a little bit more just to see what else he says. You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword, but you must find a way. Surely the Master Sword is awaiting you, just as you are seeking it. All right, and memories have been added with the memories lock. Of course, we got the Master Sword's power, which is the first memory. Link recovers the Master Sword in the Lost Woods after it's been restored. Zelda is astonished to learn from the Deku Tree that the Master Sword will become even stronger when flooded with secret power. So we really made a ton of progress today. How exciting is that? With just a couple of simple things here in the Korok Forest. And oh, oh look, it's, it's, it's Hestu. Hi, Hestu, how are you? It's you, we meet again. It's been a while, huh? I finally made it home to Korok Forest. The Koroks told me that icky stuff floating in the air was making things weird around here. I'm so happy it's gone and that everyone is better now. Shaka Kala. Do you have a Korok seed? You do, you got a Korok seed from the one of the forest children. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of your inventory. So, you want more room? I do. Let's see if I actually have enough to expand anything. That would require 17, so, both stash, maybe that only requires 12. So let's go ahead and get that upgraded. Let the expansion begin, and since we haven't seen it here in the Korok forest, we might as well. That's great. Okay, so now we can hold up to 11 different bows. Dun, na, 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 na. <laughs> Expand to band, band, bow stash, Shakala. I still smell Korok seeds on you. 
Well, not enough. Okay, so with that done, I really don't know if there's too much more to do. Of course, this is where the Master Sword would be placed if it was still here. Obviously, it's not quite. So we'll have to look around a little bit. There was a little Quark friend behind that rock. They're gone now. So we'll just have to explore around. I think one of the things I want to do is ascend from the navel, I think it was. And that's how I can get into the Korok's mouth, according to one of the other Koroks, or one, into the great Deku Tree's mouth. So I'll try that now. Was it just here? Maybe? Let me just try doing this and seeing where we end up. Even if we end up on top of the tree, that might be interesting. Uh, whoa. Yeah, where exactly are we? This is the, the Deku Tree's mouth? I, I don't have enough. What's wrong? Ah, I've been spotted. I wonder how you got in here. Well, guess what? We're in the Great Deku Tree's mouth. Guess what else? I'm putting together a secret room here. Right now I'm fixing up the decor, but I need some pretty things, or need more pretty things. I need four blue nightshades that glow gently at night, and two really vivid bright bloom seeds. For the bright bloom seeds, I'm looking for something bigger than what you can find in the general shop. That's all I need to finish my super secret room. So this is the secret room. Cute. Oki is building a secret room inside the Deku Tree's mouth. In order to decorate the room, he wants four blue nightshades. He'll also need two bright bloom seeds, larger than the ones sold by the forest general shop. Well, I think that's something we could probably help with straight away. Four blue nightshades that glow gently at night and two super bright, bright bloom seeds. That's all I need to finish my super secret room. I've got them. Whoa, really? Thanks, but it's not evening yet. It'll be so much prettier in the dark, so I want you to stay until nighttime, okay? Sure. Yay, let's wait here together. So I guess we'll be able to see this super fancy room. Whoa. Wee, thank you, thank you. Hang on, I'll set up the decorations real quick. Okay. See, look, now my secret room is all done. Very pretty. I like it. Look, look, so pretty. Thank you, thank you. Take this. We got a Korok for a fabric. Very nice. Tough fabric bearing a Korok design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. I was thinking I'd lay on this on, this on the floor like a rug, but you can have it. Now I can enjoy my secret room. And it's all thanks to you, Mr. Hero. I'm glad. So the secret room complete. You handed over the items Oki needed. Oki has finished building a wonderful room inside the Deku Tree's mouth and is pleased with the results. Very cool. Yeah. It's a secret to everyone that I built a secret room here. Hmm. I wonder how I can get out of here when I want to go play. I'm wondering the same thing. Can we take a nap in the bed? Oh, I can't take these, sorry. No touchy, each element has been placed just so. Sorry, sorry. I guess I can take a little rest in the bed. So I guess we'll head out of here just by ascending. Um, maybe. Uh, where can I ascend? It told me I could for a moment, but now I can't. Oh, uh, right here. Okay, let's just try to get out of the Great Deku Tree's mouth. We'll, we, we'll see what we can do from there. All right, we've made it here. That's odd, but okay. Looks like we're at the very tip of the top of the Deku Tree where I'm sure there might be a Korok to find or something. Able to get a little sunset firefly. And oh, hey, it's you. Nobody wants to play. Hmm. Did I do it? Did I hide things well enough? Oh, Mr. Hero, is that you? You see, I wanted to play with everyone by making them hunt for treasure, so I hid stuff around the Great Deku Tree. But I wanna make sure I hid things well enough, so I need someone to test it out. I don't wanna ruin it for the Koroks, see? I'll test it. Yay, since it's for the other Koroks, you're the only one who can help me with this, so thanks. The first two hidden treasures are a Forest Dweller's sword and a Forest Dweller's spear. I hid them higher than the Great Deku Tree's face. If you wanna find them, bring them to me, or if you find them, bring them to me. All right then, so Walton's treasure hunt. Walton sent you on a treasure hunt. He's hidden a forest war sword and a forest war spear above the Deku Tree's face. If you find them, you should show them to Walton. I definitely will look around for them then. So above the face is like the only hint we really got here. But I don't know if it means like in that same region exactly. So I'm right at the like eyebrow area here. And if I were just to land here and pull out, not this, but this, maybe this would point things out a little bit easier for me. Because it should make, you know, grabbable objects like the spear and the sword. 
yellow, but so far, doesn't seem like it does too much for me. Okay, so I'll just have to keep looking around and see if we can stumble across them, but I guess as I do, maybe I should be, whoa, looking for other side quests to do and stuff. That might be a good idea. So I'm not really seeing too much on the edge of like the eyebrows or anything here from the Great Deku Tree. Uh, just waiting for my stamina to restore if I can. I need to just get over there if possible, but I might end up falling. Oh no. But it might be on one of these other branches way up here. Okay, come on, Link. Ready and jump. Got it. Perfect. Because these are really long branches. There's definitely to be something along the lines of all this, right? I'd have to imagine. But it's pretty far up here. And once again, I'm not really seeing much in the way of the Ultra Hand. But it could have just been more so on top of his head. So maybe I'll just look around there a bit more. Oh, because we're about to fall. Oh, whoa! Oh no, I guess I got too far. <laughs> the Koroks have taken me away. Where will I end up? Oh, just right where I started. Okay. I do want to re-explore the sort of the entrance of everything too. Mm, very odd. Yeah, let's stick to this area then. Okay, I do see something there. What is that? Uh, oh, that's just a little pot, gotcha. I'll break it, but it doesn't give me anything. Okay, yeah, I'm not really seeing too much for the hide and seek. It's something that we can definitely tackle a little bit later too. Oh wait, there's one of them. I, th I found it, okay, very cool. And there's the sword. Okay, so this is technically new as well, so we'll definitely take this picture. We got the Forest Dweller Spear. Excellent. So, Forest Dweller Spear. Very nice to see that, I'll pick it up. A Korok Spear with a decayed tip. It's still full of vitality. Bursting materials, or bursting materials attached to the spearhead can be reused again and again. That's really cool. So we haven't had that one before. Um, I do need to pick it up, so I guess I'll drop something here. Uh, what do I wanna drop? I have a lot of stuff. I think for right now, I don't really need this. So maybe I'll just toss that over, and I'll pick it up later. So here's the Forest Dweller Spear. Maybe I can just show this to you and then show you the other thing. Aha, don't tell me, don't tell me. Your face says it all. You found something? Yippee, the Forest Dweller Spear. But you haven't found the Forest Dweller Sword yet, have you? If you find it, bring me both, please. Hmm. So this means it was hard. Okay, so I have to find both at once. So I'll get up here, grab that rush room. The sword was just waiting for us right over here. And this is a new one as well, I believe. If this is the Forest Dweller Sword. Very cool, so I wanna be able to pick that up. So I think same deal, I will just toss this stuff down and then pick it back up later. Got it, and boom. Forest Dweller Sword, a living wooden Korok sword with a decayed blade. Bursting materials attached to the tip can be reused again and again. Okay. I don't know what it means by bursting, like as in like a bomb flower? The look on your face can mean just one thing. You've found them, haven't you? Aha, you found both. So, how was it? Was it hard? It was. It was hard, huh? Thank you, Mr. Hero. This is useful info. Oh yeah, you can keep what you found as a gift. Okie dokie, there's more than just one simple round to this treasure hunt. That's right, it's time for round two. Next, find me a Forest Dweller Shield. It's still hidden on the Great Deku Tree, but this time, it's below his face. It's not hidden on the ground or in his navel. I wonder if you'll find this in time. Hmm. Okay, so update to Walton's treasure hunt. Walton sent you on a treasure hunt. This time, he's hidden a forest dweller shield below the Deku Tree's face. If you find it, you should show it to Walton. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so it's not quite in the navel, but it's below his face. So I guess that's what we're looking for now. It's just wherever the shield could end up being. But I guess if I hop down here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, <laughs> try to get up there. I'm sliding down a little bit. Is that gonna be the general area it's gonna be, or maybe it might be somewhere else? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if this really helps. Wait a minute, whoa, okay, maybe this does help. I think that might be it right up there. So we'll try to climb up, and that's definitely it. So we got the Forest Water Shield previously. I can't carry any more shields at the moment, but I can pause the game, and I guess drop one. Drop that for now, and then pick this up. Okay, cool. So. I will just ascend upwards as soon as I can. We'll take that back later. So I guess for the time being, if I could just head up here. 
and get back to the tippity top of everything. Right now we're in the mouth still. That's okay. This is right over here. We can just go back up to the top of the deck tree, show the shield, and then we'll have to see if there's anything more going on. I'm sure there's gonna be like three waves of it or whatever. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So if I could just get down here. Did you find it? Yes, I did. Aha, I recognize that look anywhere. Yay, yay, you found the forest dweller shield too. With that, the treasure hunt is over. But how was it? Was it hard? It was. Hmm, hard you say? Maybe I should choose an easier spot then. Thank you for the useful info, Mr. Hero. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'll give you the forest dweller shield you found. Also, take this as a thank you too. Whoa, look at the forest dweller's bow. The Koroks made this bow for Hylians. It's crafted from flexible wood and uses sturdy vines for the bowstring. Its construction may be simple, but it fires multiple arrows at once. I prepared this prize in case you found everything, which you did. Thank you for helping me make my treasure hunt in the, the best it can be, Mr. Hero. I'm glad I could help and we have completed Walton's treasure hunt. You found all of Walton's hidden treasures much to his satisfaction. He feels like he's got a knack for finding good hiding places. He definitely does. Okay, so let's make sure that I actually have a photo of this one. I'm pretty sure I would, right? But, I don't know. Let me just make extra sure of that. Oh, I don't. Okay, so now we have a picture of it. That's always good to see. The other two I'm just gonna leave because they're not the most powerful thing. Uh, and I'm sure I might pop up with some other stuff soon enough anyways. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll break all these pots just to see if I get anything more than just one arrow. It looks like I won't. So I wanna head back down because the other Korok was saying that if I follow the light, there might be more Koroks that need our help. So that's definitely something I wanna focus on. So I think it was, yeah, right down this way. I guess we'll just sort of make our way along and we'll see if anybody else needs our assistance. Okay, definitely over here we have you. You can't go past here. Yeah. Hey, no going past here. Oh, you're a Hylian. Well, since you're not a Korok, I guess I don't need to stop you. There's this thing beyond here that I can't stop thinking about. I keep wanting to go check it out again. You know, the thing that showed up in Korok Forest? I saw something similar to that, but it looked kind of different. But when I tried to go back to it, there were a bunch of monsters coming out of the woodwork. Tree monsters and bone monsters. So I'm keeping guard here to warn other Koroks because it's real dangerous but I'm not about to stop any Hylians who are feeling brave. Just be careful. Oh, and the flowers are here to help you help keep you getting, from getting lost, so don't go picking them. <laughs> All right, none shall pass a shrine quest. According to Zuki, he once went deep into the forest and found something similar to a shrine, but now there are lots of monsters about, so he's keeping watch to prevent Koroks from going there. Since you're not a Korok though, it should be fine to enter. Interesting. So I guess we'll take your advice and head right in. I might take one flower. <laughs> but I guess with these I can sort of find my way. Yeah, so I'll just uh, not pluck the rest of these. Whoa. It's definitely a whole lot spookier out here. But if we keep following these flowers, we should be able to get to where we're going. All right, I'll switch to something a little bit better, I suppose. Definitely need to start comboing weapons with materials again. Get rid of you. And then, whoa, watch it, there's so many enemies. What if I were to just avoid them for now, though? Whoa. We got the Stalmoblin, which we don't run into too often, actually, so maybe if I could just take the opportunity to at least fight them off. Ow, I was in the middle of something. Luckily, that did not hurt very much at all. Get all these Moblin fangs, and then keep it moving. Just following these flowers wherever we can find them. There are so, so many enemies. But if they build up like a huge group that starts following us, I mean, maybe we can make something work with that. Oh my gosh, it's so many, it's so many. This is actually a lot of enemies out of the woodworks. They were not kidding. It looks like they sort of go two ways though. We're here, we're at the Sakun Bomar Shrine. Uh, and can I just activate it? It feels like I'm missing something here. I guess we'll see. If this does the trick though, I'll be very happy to see it. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Sure, none shall pass question mark. 
<laughs> you located what looks like a shrine inside the forest. Perhaps this was the place Zuki was talking about. It seems that you can enter the Shrine of Light if you offer up a crystal. Follow the Ray of Light and offer up the crystal at the shrine. So it looks like it's way over this way. We won't get too lost and hopefully not too many more enemies will fight us, but I think that's exactly what's about to happen. Who knows? I mean, so far, not so bad. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I see now. Wow, is this a new one? A new type of texture looks a little bit different. Yeah, it's just, it's a stone talus, but look, we've seen a stone talus before. I don't know why it's saying it's our first one. All right, well, I'll just keep running around. The lurker in the lost woods. Ow, really good aim. Really, really good aim. I mean, luckily I just didn't do too much damage, but oh man. Okay, here's my chance to maybe hit it though. Oh, and that's right, with this thing, I get the triple shot. So it's just, would it actually use three of them though? Oh my goodness, it just uses one, but it triples it. That's crazy, that's so powerful. All right, do that again, maybe actually aim it up properly, but that was so, so cool. But I'm, I'm using the steel lionel, I should be using the forest dweller. The steel lionel, I need to say it for sure. So if I could, just one more time, triple bomb. That is so useful. How did I not think about that before? Who knows, but now we got it and that is gonna get us a bunch of cool stuff. So I'll grab all of this amber. I'll switch over to this weapon. Um, you know what, we'll combo with the sturdy thick sticks just so that way it works out well for one long time. Um, yep, stone talus heart. I pick this thing up and we move over there. Very exciting. So once we get this in, we can hop into that shrine. That'll be great. All right, right over here then. Is that all I had to do? I think so. So we had to defeat a stone talus boss fight, but you who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. That's great to hear. So I'm guessing this will be a pretty straightforward shrine. It'll probably be one of Raru's blessings, but I guess we'll have to wait and see once we head into it. Very cool, I always love how the crystal is the shrine. It just needs to be sort of scaled up a little bit. And there we go, another shrine to complete. Slowly making progress through everything. Always good to see. And with that, the door opens and the shrine quest should complete. Oh hey, it's you. Hey, I was able to come here again thanks to you. I actually secretly followed you. I was a little scared of the monsters, but I managed because of you. I didn't fight any of the monsters. But it seems like it's shaped differently than what I saw before. I wonder who moved such a big boulder. How strange. None shall pass, complete. You offered up the crystal that came from the stone talus and a shrine of light appeared, entering the shrine in order to acquire the light of blessing. Very cool, so I'll talk to Zuki one more time before we head in. But it seems like it's shaped differently than what I saw before. I wonder who managed such a big boulder, how strange. Okay, so not really much. Let's head into this shrine then. So yeah, it looks like already this is gonna be Raru's blessing. We'll get something cool out of it. This was though the Sakin Bomar shrine. All right, cool. So I'm guessing probably just like a ruby or sapphire or something. But hey, maybe it'll surprise us. What do we get inside of this? It is a diamond, even better. Awesome. So yeah, really happy to have that one. We're gonna go ahead and open this up too, get ourselves our orb of light and be all wrapped up for today. All right, we've made it out of that shrine and it looks like we've really done everything I can tell there is to do here in Croc Forest. It was a ton of fun to go through this though, of course, to save the Deku Tree, to find out where we need to go exactly to find the Master Sword. Okay, we made it back to the Croc Forest and it looks like there's at least one more little guy here who needs our help. Ah, Mr. Hero, thanks for making the Korok Forest normal again. Do you have a minute, Mr. Hero? I've got something I'd like to ask you. Sure. Yeah. Really? Thank you, Mr. Hero. You see, I have a friend who says they saw a big, whirly circle. Yeah. They saw it in an area with water. If it's really real, I want to see it myself. Even a picture would do. But it's still too dangerous to leave here, so please, make it, make it safe out there soon, Mr. Hero. Whirly, swirly things. One of Kula's friends said they saw a big swirly circle in the water. Kula can't go looking himself, but said that he would like to see that swirly thing. 
Okay, what I think this is, and this is another picture quest, so I think we'll save it for some other time. But um, if we take a look at the map, I think it's, of course, this island over here. So maybe at some point we'll take a picture of the Rus Peninsula for them so that they can enjoy that. But I don't think there's really too much more here to do in the Korok Forest, at least as far as I can tell. It's been a ton of fun adventuring this and, of course, helping out the Koroks getting a path towards the Master Sword. Next episode, we'll be trying to find the Light Dragon once more and get the Master Sword from it. I figure we'll also take on the other dragons, the Dinral and a couple of the other ones. So we'll definitely do that. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.